Welcome to Accu Web Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to take a partial backup of your website from cPanel. If you want a PDF file of this video tutorial, you can download it from our Telegram channel AccuWeb Hosting. We have mentioned our Telegram channel link in the description. Kindly click on the link and find the PDF file of this video tutorial. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First of all, you need to log in into your cPanel account. Scroll down the screen. Go to the file section. In the file section, you will get two options one is backup and second one is backup wizard. You can secure the partial backup of your account from both options. The difference is that the backup wizard gives step-by-step -step guidance in choosing how or what you want to backup where in backups you will see all the options in a single window. Here, we are going to select the backup wizard for an example. Click on it. Once you click on it, the backup wizard window will be open. Click on the backup button. By clicking on it, you will get two options, full backup and select partial backup. Since we want to secure a partial backup, we will go to the select partial backup section. Partial backup file store individual sections of your account. To download a specific item, click the desired items. This method downloads the backup file as a .gz file to your computer. Let's take the home directory backup of this cPanel account. Home directory backup is not a full backup, but does include all the files and data within your home directory. This includes your public underscore HTML folder, where all of your website files live, and the mail directory, where POP and IMAP users store their emails. Click the Home Directory button under the Select the Partial Backup section. It will redirect to the Download a Home Directory Backup section. You can begin downloading a backup of your home directory by click on the Home Directory button. This can take several minutes to complete. It depends on the size of your site. You can access the file from your browser's download directory. In this example, the home directory backup is named backup demo vps test.com the 8th of June 2021.tar.gz. Congratulations! You have successfully downloaded the home directory backup. Let's take the MySQL database backup. Under the Select Partial Backup, click on the name of the MySQL Databases button. It will redirect to the Download a MySQL Database Backup section. On this page you will see all MySQL databases of your cPanel account. Click on the MySQL database name which you wish to download. Once you click on MySQL database name, MySQL database backup will be downloaded on your local system as a .sql.gz format. On your local machine, go to the download folder of your web browser. You should now see the compressed .sql.gz file. Congratulations! 
you have successfully downloaded the MySQL database backup. Let's download email forwarders backup. Click email forwarders and filters under the select partial backup section. It will redirect to the download email forwarders or filters backup section. On this page you will see all email forwarders and system filter info. You can download the email forwarders backup of your main domain, add-on domain, subdomain or park domain. It depends on your needs. Click on the domain name to download email forwarders backup of particular domain. Once you click on domain name, email forwarder of the domain will be downloaded on your local system. On your local machine, go to the downloaded folder of your web browser. You should now see the compressed file, aliases domain name.gz file. Congratulations! You have successfully downloaded the email forwarder backup. Let's download the email filter backup of cPanel account. Click on the email forwarders and filters button under the select partial backup section. It will redirect to the download email forwarders or filters backup section. On this page you will see all email forwarders and system filter info. Click on the system filter that you wish to backup. Once the backup has been completed, you will find the downloaded backup file in the downloaded folder of your web browser. You should now see the compressed file, filter underscore info dot c panel account name dot yaml dot gz. Congratulations! You have successfully downloaded the email filter. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to take a partial backup of your website from cPanel. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.